YouTube, how's it going? It's been a while since I talked to you guys. I hope all is well. We have a new video, very quick video. This video is about the inbound routes. The inbound routes is very important, especially if you are trying to set up certain numbers and you want certain numbers to go to certain locations within your PBX. And it will also help out if you have a lot of numbers from your provider you can actually tell it to to uh, pick out certain numbers out of a long list of numbers that you might have and route it accordingly based on the criteria of what number they're calling what number they're calling from and what you want to do with that number once it hits your server a good example would be showing here on the page here this example saying that if you're calling one of my numbers and my numbers happen to be six seven eight four six zero one four seven five and if you are calling from seven seven oh two one eight zero two 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 the call will come in as accordingly the way I said it and you look at the very the bottom part of that screen I tell it to add the ordinary music on hold I don't want to add any type of prefix on the call no learning information but I do want the call to ring for three additional seconds before it goes to my destination, or in this case, one of my extensions. Now, on this call, I choose to not turn on the caller ID lookup, but you have the option to turn that on, especially if your provider do not allow caller ID coming in. There are a few providers out there that does not allow caller ID. So this will be a good workaround, especially if you're using PBX in a flash with the caller ID, I'm sorry, the CID Super Effective module, which you will probably see on the left hand side under your tools and menus. Once you enable that, it gives you a little more leeway as to how the call is coming in. Like I said, especially when if your provider does not allow inbound caller ID name. Now for this scenario, it's for anybody. So it's not specifically for certain businesses or uh, certain locations or anything like that. It's very it's focused on how you want the call to come in, and especially if you have a lot of numbers. So it's very handy if you want certain calls to go some to a certain location differently, or you want the call to come in a little bit differently, or anything of that matter. But you might want to pay attention to this module because this is a make or break module at least in my opinion because this is how people contact you through your PBX just how to get you on the phone that's how they call your business so you might want to pay attention to the inbound routes just to make sure that everything you have set is set correctly you don't want any issues on there because they can't give you a call but at the same time you can set different rules you can also set priorities of the rules of how the calls are coming in now, for an example, I have two rules here. Two rules saying I like anything coming from, in this case, my trunk from the carrier. Now, this is not necessarily anything from the outside world. You do have a security thing on the PBX that actually eliminates any type of anonymous zip calls. Be sure to turn that off. And if it's not into one of my videos, I will probably do another, another video regarding a little more in-depth of security. But I have two rules here. All calls coming in from my provider would come to, in this case, IVR, which I don't have it set up here, but I just have the any any rule just in case. And for calls who are calling specifically this number, the 678 number here, with another stipulation of the call ID of 770, I want that particular call to come to my extension. Now you can set this up for all your numbers, especially if you have more than 40 or 50 numbers and they're all going to the same spot. I would definitely recommend you just having any any rule and make sure that the carrier is locking down the certain number that you're paying for on your provider account. And just, just kind of pick out which number that you want to go specifically. So instead of having 50 routes and there are 50 different uh, inbound route schemes, you can have maybe, I don't know, three or four that would do the same thing. Good note with that, it would keep your PBX streamlined, uh, less memory being used, and 
keep it well, you know, well aligned and well tuned as much as possible. Because besides people, this is your inbound call. This is how they're calling you from the outside. So you want to make sure that the PPX can handle those calls. So therefore, you can actually handle your business. Okay, guys, this was a quick video about the inbound routes. I thought this would be very handy for you guys, especially if you're running your own PBX and this PBX is handling your uh, business or any type of production environment. Of course, like and subscribe to all of our videos. If you have any questions, be sure to give us a contact. And also, if you have any extra videos that you want us to review for as voice over IP is concerned, let us know, let us know in the comments, give us a call, send us an email, just let us know in general of what devices that you think needs to be reviewed or checked out or video that might needs to be made. Anything else guys, I will catch you guys.